Welcome Diecast Emporium fans. Today we're going to be taking a look at yet another Diecast Masters model. This is the Caterpillar D6 track type tractor with the SU blade. Now you might have just finished watching the twin to this model, which is the D6 XE LGP version. Both of these models by Diecast Masters are in 1 to 50 scale and they are the first to feature the new CAT logo. So just like its sister, this does have a picture of the real machine on the tin on the side, which is unusual because normally they have a picture of the actual scale model, so I wonder if that's going to start being a thing. But uh, either way, they are beautifully presented in the high-quality tin packaging, which looks great. So there's the side of it. Diecast Masters Highline Series and your Corsair item number. Here's some specification details if you want to pause the video and look at it. And on top of the tin, yet another great picture of the real machine inside. So once you pop the top of this model, as you would come to expect, inside you have your updated catalog of your Diecast Masters models for 2019. You also have your collector sheet of your instructional manual on how to place Bob into the cab, which is pretty simple. Cab just pops off. You really don't need that sheet. And in here, you have a little bag of parts, which contain the ripper shanks and pins to pin them in. Bob, and up top here is, right here, is the tweezers, which again, you don't really need. Under that is what you really came here to see, and that is our dozer. Here it is. So, one really cool aspect, well, there's actually two really cool aspects about this model. One is what I like to refer to as the forestry style ROPS, kind of the sweeps on this cab. Oftentimes you will see this sort of setup when this dozer is clearing trees and that kind of thing. Uh, it looks really, really good. Even though it is plastic, you can see that it's rather, I won't say flimsy because it's more heavy duty style plastic, but it does flex quite a bit. But the other really a uh, good point about this model and the selling point of this model are these three shanked rippers here. They do come separated from the model. And if you have a really keen eye, you can already tell that I don't have any of the pins in. And that's because you really don't need them. These are already staying in without having to be pinned. But you can choose to have a one shank ripper, a two shank ripper, a no shank ripper, or a three shank ripper, whatever you want to do. And they come with very, very small silver pins. And you just pin them in here. But they are very small, and they do tend to rock around a bit. And they are, um, like I said, I can't emphasize how small and tiny they are. So if you tend to drop them, you might, uh, you might lose them. But uh, mine, you know, they just, these ripper shanks really stay in without them. And they just kind of pop in and pop off really easily. So again, your model will come basically like this in the package. And you can opt to put the shanks in or leave them off. Which I think is really nice, because a lot of people don't like rippers at all. Uh, but those of us that do, you know, you can, you can choose how you want to set them up. And it makes for a good display pose. And it also makes for a good maintenance pose if they're having rippers replaced or worked on or whatnot. So, very cool. I do like that. Starting with the back... Again, it's a good look at the new cat graphic and logo. Your ripper here, this is as far as it goes up. It will go down this far, which is pretty decent, because if you had a diorama, you can get a decent cut angle. Your teeth will definitely go into some dirt there. It will go below the track, so it will go below grade. So that's acceptable there. Like the other D6, you do have the little plastic stairs that fold down, and they will fold back up. Some decent hydraulic lines back here to add some detail. Those turned out respectable. On top of the cab, again I mentioned you got a little Acon unit, some fans, the forestry sweeps, a little angled exhaust. I think is kind of cool. Um, your handles right here are plastic. And I believe, 
at least to my eye and what I've seen on the real machine and reference pictures. They might be a little oversized and fat, but still in all, it's better to have some there than not. Add some detail. This one right here is also plastic. As far as your track frame goes, your drive sprocket up here, although it's plastic, so in terms of the other metal parts like your tracks and up here, the color is slightly off, but it's not it's not majorly off. So, I mean, unless you're staring at it, you're not going to really be able to tell. But it's important to note that it is a little bit off. You have some tie-down labels and graphics here to add some detail, which look great. A little screw head here, which is a little annoying, but it is what it is. Tracks roll really well. They are spring-loaded. No working rollers underneath here. Coming along to the front, nice cat here, some nice lights. These are all plastic. Your cylinders and stuff are all plastic. Nice wear plating here and cutting edge on your blade. Nice filling cap here. Another cat logo here. Taking a look underneath, not too much to write home about. But personally, I don't display my models in an accident prone position. There you go. Last thing we'll look at is the function of the blade. Goes up to there. You have little to no tilt at all. Like there's literally no tilt at all, which is interesting because that's the same issue that befell the D6 by Tonkin that this model is based off of. It will go down to here. And again, there's really no tilt whatsoever. So, you're not going to get much, you're not going to get a great cut angle or below grade position whatsoever. And at least on my review model, you saw me put a very good amount of force trying to get some cut angle at all. And there is, there is unfortunately nothing there. So there you go, guys. That is the review of the Diecast Masters Caterpillar D6 with an SU blade in 1 to 50 scale by Diecast Masters, one of their newest offerings here for 2019. Big selling point of this model, of course, is if you're into the forestry type equipment or you like the, the sweep rops. I've heard them called many different things. I call them that. Um, also, the removable shanks on the ripper assembly, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot. It allows for some different posing opportunities such as if the machine is having them replaced or removed or maybe having some work done in the shop personally i think that these are priced decently um consider taking into account the increase of the cost of die cast as it's as it is i mean it's just it is what it is you can't really do anything about that um it sucks but it is what it is it seems like everything in the world is going up except our paychecks that just means we have to work a little harder i suppose um, but if you're looking for a dozer, either this or the D6 LGP are, are, are decent offerings. They both have their pluses and minus. They certainly have their faults, but, um, they definitely look great on a shelf. That, that is one thing that goes without question. So if you guys have uh, any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, be safe, take care. We'll see you in the next video.